What's up everyone? It's your boy Django and I finally decided what I'm gonna make my next video on. Now, this is the second time I'm recording this audio because for some godforsaken reason Audacity wasn't letting me export my first attempt. So I'm rather irritated, but I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, keep my positive mental attitude up, my PMA. So it's, it's roughly been around two weeks since I last uploaded anything, and that's mainly because I've been in a pretty bad creative rut. I've written about three scripts for different video ideas, but I ended up scrapping most of them because I didn't really like the end result. Plus, I've also been catching up on some shows I've been meaning to watch for a while, like Narcos Mexico as well as giving the new season of Overwatch Competitive a chance, which has not been going well at all. Started off pretty strong, but now I just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. You can check me out in my progress for whenever I stream over at my Twitch channel. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, you probably have no idea what I'm going to be talking about, even with the knowledge of the title of the video, unless you've already seen the trailer for yourself. Yesterday, I was watching a streamer who happened to watch this movie trailer on stream, and it completely caught me off guard, left me in awe, captivated everything under the sun. This is probably due in part to the fact that I fall absolutely head over heels for sci-fi movies and space epics. Movies like Interstellar, Rogue One, and so forth. So with that being said, you probably know what the movie is called, but what is The Wandering Earth? First off, The Wandering Earth, the movie, is based on a collection of short stories of the same name by Lu Sixin. Apologies if I mispronounced. The movie and collection of short stories share the same plot in that quote. The sun was dying out, people all around the world built giant planet thrusters to move Earth out of its orbit and to sail Earth to a new star system. Yet the 2500 years journey came with unexpected dangers, and in order to save humanity, a group of young people in this age of a wandering Earth came out boldly and fought hard for everyone's survival." End quote. Now, there isn't a lot known about the production of the movie, but what we do know so far is that the wandering Earth is being described as China's first big budget sci-fi blockbuster coming in with a budget of 50 million dollars. What we also know about the production is that director Frank Guo invited four scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences to act as consultants during the production of the film in order to maintain accuracy as much as possible. The film accordingly has 3,000 concept maps and more than 8,000 sub-mirrors created over the course of a 15 month period. What are sub mirrors you ask? I've got no fucking idea. But 3000 concept maps, that's absolutely insane. That is an insane amount of having to connect things with one another, let alone making a cohesive and understandable story. One of my biggest worries for this movie is whether it will succeed or not because the source material is an anthology of stories rather than a set story itself. I felt the same way about World War Z seeing as there wasn't a followable linear story in the book, but rather a collection of different perspectives during the events of the book. However, the trailer gives me hope. Whoever edited the trailer deserves a pay raise because very rarely do I ever feel this kind of a way about a movie inside. I'll go ahead and show you the trailer now just in case you haven't seen it yet and then we'll reconvene afterwards. 从流浪地球计划启动的第一天起看来我们只能靠自己了。Warning, Earth engine system failing. Total 121 facilities. Correction, 1001 correction. 3000 correction. Correction, 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 correction. Oh, 
心不能再死人了，地球上三十五亿人，我老婆孩子全他妈白死了。这是我们唯一回家的机会，快呀，快！我原来以为家在身后，现在才知道家在前面。千万要顶住！是你妈的！无论最终结果将人类历史导向何处，我们决定选择希望。All right, the first thing that jarringly stands out, the music. Personally, the biggest factor for me that determines whether I want to see a movie or not is the trailer music. Prime examples are trailers like the first official trailer for Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, Blade Runner 2049, Gone Girl, The Revenant, Raw, The Hateful Eight, Macbeth, and so many other movies. Music is one of the prime avenues for storytelling, and any film that doesn't focus as much on the soundtrack as it does on the film itself fails in my book. A successful film should leave viewers consciously aware of the soundtrack, while being able to pay attention to the movie and leave the theater still having understood everything that happened. The Wandering Earth trailer does this perfectly. You hear every piece of music, and you can still pay attention to the visuals. You feel the tension, the urgentness, and the direness of the situation. Trailer music that successfully creates an atmosphere and tone is considered a success even before its release. To me, the pacing of the trailer is phenomenal as well. Things start off very solemn and slow, and as the music progresses, so does what's going on on screen. Things increasingly grow more and more dangerous. Emotions grow higher. Chaos is surrounding everyone. You become hopeless. And then we're shown the vulnerable side of all the main characters, the people that will do whatever it takes, what it means to them to save Earth, what it means to lay down their lives and sacrifice. This trailer heavily reminds me of the very first official trailer for The Force Awakens in pacing and in music. This is 100% a movie you should keep an eye out for because this shit's about to fucking blow up. The Wandering Earth officially releases on February 5th, 2019, in China, and February 8th, 2019, in North America. The only unfortunate side is that only AMC theaters will be showing The Wandering Earth, and you can't buy tickets in advance just yet. More than likely by Wednesday this week or next week. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about the trailer for The Wandering Earth. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Sub if you're new here, and I'll see you guys later. All right, peace.